he weighs at nine. And as you push it downward, that's when the clutch is engaged. So probably eight o'clock when it starts to engage. See that? I got it tight. Pretty weird design, but. So here you have all the clutches, right? There's a little bit of play here. I would say about probably an eighth of an inch. This down to eight o'clock. There you go, there's your clutches. The cam pushes against this back piece right here. And that pushes against the bearing, which there's slots on this shaft right here. So as you push this down, see, it locks the clutches and this spins, so does this. This see this this spins separately. See that? So that's spinning separately. So as soon as you hit the clutch, it locks this. The one that I'm spinning with my two fingers. It locks it. See, watch I'll use my foot. I'm gonna push down on it. See, so as I'm spinning it, see it comes to a stop. So this way you know that the clutches are working. You just wanna check that. So that's the easiest way to pull the cover off. It's literally really easy, guys. All you have to do is pry up in this section. You see there's a screwdriver mark here. And then I would maybe do something over here a little bit. But once that comes up, you just pull it straight off. Um, don't forget, you'll have three keepers. One's like one here, here, here. On this case, underneath it, that slides into that okay, those locations. So just make sure you line them up. So, there you go. See? That's all it is. Just line them up and it's perfectly fine. Um, you can line them up however you want, it doesn't matter. That's it. So, don't forget you got your spring here. Make sure that falls in place. This, this, this. Here's your pickup tube. For your oil pump so that's it guys um, it's pretty easy so when you go to remove the chain um, this comes right out just don't forget to move that gear here where the servo motor goes when you move it to like one o'clock that will bring this up to where this shift fork comes out with this and then all you're moving is this basket, removing the other gear in there, and then this comes off, slide this off, slide this off, throw the new chain on it, put it back together. Don't even bother taking this off, you don't have to, unless you're getting to the pump or something. Just make sure your pickup tube is still stuck inside the pump down there, because mine fell out. Kind of stupid design. Just held in by an O-ring. Crazy, huh? But that's it. Um, it's pretty easy. All right, quick information. So this is high gear right here. That's where the key mark is. And then about 11 o'clock so this is 12 o'clock up here so this is 9 o'clock just to give you an idea that's high gear this notch is in about 11 o'clock see this other mark that's where uh, low gear is the C stand for clutch so this thing will turn this when it's in high They'll turn this direction, so that's why the servo motor is always working. Because when you get a slip in your in one of the tires, it'll go into clutch, lock it, 
that's for also the low it's got the clutch too so that's it it's all together smoothly works how you test it is you spin your output shaft and you spin your input over here you spin them and then what you do is you put vice grips on here and then say if it's in high you'll pull it towards the clutch if the clutch will stop them so as you're spinning both of those because they're not locked it's not completely locked so you can you can hold one and spin it and then as soon as you engage the clutch it locks it so it goes for low speed too so you want to double check them before you uh, put this thing in the car and make sure the clutches are working so I don't know if I got my vice grips handy but yeah, you'll just you'll turn both of these. You use your leg or whatever to push down on it, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll be able to spin this one, hold the other one, and then as soon as you engage it, it'll lock up. That's it. Pretty cool.